Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to turn on those post notifications. Hit subscribe. We are so close to 350,000 subscribers. I love you guys. Thanks for all the support. So today I'm doing a little bit of an updated q and A. I I feel like it's been a while since I've done a QA, and a and obviously you guys have a ton of questions. I won't be answering like all questions because I am trying to keep some things personal, but I'm just gonna kind of read through some questions you guys left me and answer what I feel comfortable answering. So let's get into it. Scroll to the bottom. What are your parents' thoughts on your divorce? So when I told my parents, they were obviously very supportive. They want me to be happy and everything. They both were like, obviously we're team. We want you guys to stay together and work it out, but we also just want you to be happy. So whatever that means, we're here. My parents are great. I swear they'll love me no matter what. They're the best, so that was good. Was the divorce a mutual decision? Yes. Where will you move when your lease is up? So I've mentioned that I am here in Utah until October when my lease is up, and then I don't know. I might stay here. It kind of just depends what's going on, if I have any friends or not. I would like to move somewhere warmer though. I'm so tired of the cold, and it doesn't stay warm here for very long. I'd rather move somewhere like by a beach or just somewhere warm. <laughs> How have you bettered your mental health and created healthy routines? So I'd love to make a video on this one day, but basically like a year ago, I was the most depressed I'd ever been. Last summer, I I was at the lowest of my lows that I possibly could have been at. And now I honestly feel like I am so happy. Obviously there's things going on in my life that aren't the greatest, but like I'm just pretty content with life, I guess. I feel like just having good daily habits is a big one. Actually being positive to yourself, not telling yourself negative things all the time. Leaving the house every day helps. Uh, getting ready every day, just like the little things, it really adds up to better your mental health. What is one big goal or dream you have that you want to do in the next couple of years? Um, I really wanna focus so much on my career and myself. So like, I wanna really do my best to make every video the best video I make and like come up with some more creative concepts. Just keep grinding on YouTube because it really is just like my passion. Um, and then I just wanna be become the best version of myself. I want to figure out who I am, be confident in myself, and know what I want, and then just see where life takes me. I'm just at such a point in my life. I'm 20. I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm just kind of going with life and see what happens. So I have like a million questions on if I'll ever move back to Missouri and what I'm doing with my house that I bought. So if you don't know, when I was 18, I bought a house back in Missouri in my hometown. I thought I was going to live there for like five years. Plans changed. So right now, I am renting out my house, and I'm going to keep my house. I'm not planning on selling it anytime soon. Now it is just like an amazing investment opportunity. Um, as far as moving back to Missouri, I don't really have a desire to move back to my hometown because I just feel like I've outgrown it and I want to be my own person and keep growing. And I feel like I just can't do that when I'm at my hometown. But I like to go visit. I have nothing against Missouri. I actually really like Missouri. So there's like a ton of questions that are basically like, do you think you and Dallin will ever get back together or anything like that? And I just basically want to say that and people being like, why aren't you more sad? So I just want to say that this is really new to you guys. You guys just found out about it, but this has been something that me and Dallin have been struggling with for months. And we came, we would not have announced this or made this decision if it wasn't the decision that we were sure in. And so it's just a little bit frustrating when people are constantly asking or trying to give me advice or tell us that we need to get back together. Like what's most important is our individual happiness, not pleasing everyone on the internet by being this perfect couple for you guys. It's just not the truth. And like I said, you never know what's going on behind closed doors. So I just wanna say like, we're putting that to a rest. We're gonna go where life takes us. Are you still planning on being friends with Don family. So as you guys know, like I grew up, our families have been close forever. And as far as right now, I feel like there isn't any bad blood. I hope not. Brittany is like one of my best friends and I'm hoping that we can stay friends. I think we will and I can still be involved in her life and her kid's life and everything. My brothers and Dallin were actually like playing video games the other day, they told me. So like, I don't care. Like I want everything to be at peace. All we want is for everyone to not be affected by this. Just because we didn't work out as a couple doesn't mean that there needs to be a bunch of bad blood or beef. And so I think everyone's taking it that way. I'm hoping it can continue to be that way. And then maybe one day in the next couple years when we have healed that we can actually be friends ourselves. But as for now, not, yeah, <laughs> we just, separated. So I still get a, like a ton of questions and last time I answered this I was pretty vague but a bunch of people are asking if I'm still part of the LDS or Mormon church. I am not. I have 
fully officially decided to completely leave and I'm on the path to becoming just a Christian. I'm working on my relationship with God. I'm so happy with that decision. I would love to open up more about it. I'd love to make a whole video about why I've made this decision, but I'm still kind of working through some things and I want to be really sure about everything that I say, not like mess up because that's a really important topic, you know? That being said, like most of my family on my dad's side is still in the LDS church. So I don't want to offend them and I don't want to offend people who are in it, but I have a lot of reasons for leaving, but that doesn't mean I don't love them or respect them for doing what they want. Anyways, basically I am not part of it anymore. And then going with that, a lot of people wanted to know if that had any influence on my separation. And it definitely wasn't a main reason. We totally could have worked that out. We did have a little bit of difference in opinion there. And I, let, I really want to keep most of our reasons private, but I know that this is like one of the number one asked questions. It's not the main reason. We could have worked that out, but it did cause a little bit of bickering and not agreeing on things. But if that was the only thing, it would have been fine. So I just want to clarify that. But that's it. Everything else we really want to keep private. <laughs> How am I doing like actually? I talked a little bit about this, but I feel like day to day I'm actually doing pretty good. I've been keeping myself busy and productive and just really trying to throw myself into loving myself and into YouTube and anything that keeps me happy and healthy and working out. Obviously not every day has been good. There's been days where I just felt really sad and I needed to let out my feelings and that's completely normal. It's part of the process. Um, I really only film when I'm feeling like super upbeat, ready to go, but it's not like a front. I really am okay. Um, so I don't want you guys to worry. If I wasn't, I would definitely be like making more videos talking about how sad I was. But not to say that I'm not sad, but like I said, this has already been going on for so long for me that at this point it was just like, okay, let's breathe and recoup and figure out who I am. So that's kind of where I'm at. And then there's just like a ton of questions about like why I have the cats, why I live in our apartment and all that. So let me just explain. So I had both the cats before I ever got married. Dallin had told me he doesn't know where his life is gonna take him and he just doesn't know if like he could take the cats. We also did not want to separate the cats. We thought about that for a bit, but ultimately it was kind of like, okay, well, they are your cats. You're the one who committed to having them so you can have them, which I would have had a really hard time giving up my cats. So yes, they are with me, both of them. And then the apartment, it basically was just like, Dallin was more wanting to move back to Missouri and he wanted to go live with his parents. So he went there and I decided to stay out here uh, for the rest of our lease. Do I ever want to be in a relationship again or get married again? I've gotten this question so much and it's definitely a difficult question because right now I'm just focusing on myself and that's like the absolute last thing that I'm thinking about. That is far, far, far in the future, but I'm not cutting that out. I definitely still wanna have a family one day and have kids one day. And like I keep telling people, I'm still only 20 years old. A lot of people haven't even had their first boyfriend at my age, so I don't feel like my life is over. I'm 20. If I live to be 80, like I still have 60 years left. Why did I have to think about that math? <laughs> so this is a pretty good question. What did you learn from a marriage and what will you apply to your next relationship? I think the first thing is not to rush into anything and I need to stop trying to grow up so fast. I feel like that kind of had to do with why we got married so young. Um, also just like a lot of pressure. Like I'm still 20. I can chill. I don't have to be in a rush to grow up and live life. Um, I just want to be sure of myself because how can I give myself fully in a relationship and love someone 100% unconditionally if I can't even do that for myself? And then something else really important to me now is having a really solid relationship with God before I get into another relationship because just a relationship centered in God would be so much better than you can actually like show pure unconditional love to each other. So that's just some things I learned personally. I'm sure there's a lot more, but that's just off the top of my head. Are you changing your last name? And why did you change your social media to Sid Francis? So I didn't really explain this. Um, after we actually do get a divorce, I will legally change my last name back to my maiden name. But my social media, I decided to put my middle name, which is Francis, because then I don't have to constantly be changing it. I can still keep that SF because like my merch has SF on it. And it just makes me more like me. I'm just me. I'm not a part of anything. I love my family. I would have no problem changing it back to my maiden name, but um, I just want to be me. I just want to be Sydney. So Sydney Francis works great for me. And then one day, in the far, far, far future when I get married again. I won't have to change it yet again. I don't know, I just feel like it's more of an individual thing. Like it's a new chapter in my life. I'm not going back to my old self. I'm moving forward. So I guess that's why I did it. Do you feel stupid for getting married young? And then they clarified, I don't think you are. 
I mean, a lot of people are like, I told you so. I knew this wasn't going to work. You're an idiot. And I get that. It's totally fine. I mean, from an outside perspective, as someone who has no idea who I am, they're probably just like, I told you so. And that's fine. People can have their own opinion. Whoa, I just realized something. Usually a comment like that would tear me to shreds. Can we give a claps to me? I can read hate comments and be like, okay. And <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> wow, this is great. Anyways, um, do I feel stupid for doing it? No, this was my path, this was my journey, it was my choice, and now I've learned so many lessons. Does it kind of suck to be like, I'm divorced at 20? Yeah, but if someone is gonna like not wanna be my friend or whatever because of that, then that's on them. We all have crazy things that happen in our life and it's just life. You only got one, you can't hold on to those things that everyone tells you is wrong or bad. Like. So I hope this kind of answered you guys' questions. I know I was still pretty vague about a lot of stuff, but like I said, I wanted to keep things pretty personal, but I did want to do a little Q&A just because there were so many questions and I didn't want it to seem like I'm just ignoring everyone. And now that I'm kind of put together more not crying in a video, I felt like I could kind of answer some of them. So I hope this helped a little bit of understanding. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more of me and my adventure and who I'm becoming now with this crazy life background that I now have, then hit subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!